Are you guys okay in there? Yeah, we, All we right. try to stay warm. During a homeless count on the streets of Hollywood lies the city's extremes. A successful television actress embracing her homeless neighbors. We're Thank trying to get you funding. Perfect. That's what we're doing, I promise. Fans know Polly Perrette as Abby Shudo in the mega-hit TV series NCIS. But in Hollywood, she's also known for helping the homeless. They are human beings. Instead of a statistic or a number, each one is a different story. Her compassion perhaps helped her when a homeless man known to police attacked her during a random encounter on the street. In a second, he had grabbed my arm. He had me pinned so I could not move. He said, my name is William and I'm going to kill you. Police say the man then punched her hard in the face. Did you think you were going to be killed, to yeah, die. Yeah, I thought, I, he, he was, told me he was gonna kill me and I absolutely believed him. And then I said, I have a little nephew named William. And for whatever reason, he went to go punch me one more time. And then he said, get the F out of here. She escaped and saw her attacker head toward Hollywood Boulevard. I was terrified that he was gonna get someone else. Perrette sketched this drawing and gave it to a friend who found the man and watched him until police arrived. The man's name is actually David Merck. He was arrested and charged with false imprisonment by violence. He has pleaded not guilty. But for Perrette, he is a victim in all of this, too. It was heartbreaking to me to think about him wandering around out there on the street. You're thinking, this man is so mentally ill. He needs help. Since that November night, Perrette has doubled down on her role as a homeless advocate, seen here discussing the problem with the L.A. mayor and Hollywood beat cops. The problem is so bad here that the city of Los Angeles declared a state of emergency. It turns out that the man that attacked me was missing for 14 years, and his family didn't know where he was. Mental illness remains one of the biggest challenges for advocates. Raquel lives on a sidewalk just blocks from the home of the Academy Awards. She is convinced her long-lost family will return to this very spot. Barrett says she refuses housing. How are you? All the TV star can offer now is a warm embrace. I love you. On the streets of Hollywood.